Today, new renderings released by the Larry H. Miller Company, who vows to invest $3.5 billion into the development of the Power District. This is on the west side of Salt Lake City. This afternoon, I spoke with the company about we, where we stand in the project here in Utah and the hope of making Big League Utah a reality. We've continued to work closely with um, Major League Baseball to understand what their needs are, what they continue to look for as they would start an expansion process. Uh, we have been working with them on a lot of initiatives lately um, and just talking through what is required for a market to be ready to host a professional sports franchise. And I think what we're doing now is just making sure that they understand that the Utah market is ready, that we have all of the right ingredients. And now that we really have a shovel ready site with incredible research and planning, um, and we actually know where in that site we would put the ballpark. And so we just continue to communicate at this point and let them know that Utah is ready and really excited about having a team. Question I was asked today, is there any sort of a potential timeline of when we would say, yes, you can start this process from Major League Baseball? Are, are we near anything? Is it still years out? Where are we? Yeah, that's, an, that's a great question, actually. And we continue to try to understand that as well. You know, what we've heard the commissioner say publicly is that he is interested in doing an expansion of two teams, possibly one in the East and one in the West. And he'll work that on his timeline. I think there are some other things that they're working to settle right now, which include uh, the Oakland Athletics moving to Las Vegas and then the Tampa Bay Rays and their stadium situation. And so as they work through some of those things, then I think that they'll be ready to talk about expansion. Some exciting renderings put out today and videos by the Larry H. Miller Company. What do those renderings show? What should people take away from seeing those pictures and the possibilities of what could be? Yeah, I think as people look at those renderings, I hope that they feel that there's a generational opportunity here. For anyone who drives by or is aware of where that power district site is when you're leaving or coming to the airport or visiting downtown Salt Lake, there's an opportunity there to not only develop that area where you can add corporate businesses, residents, dining, shopping, um, but then you look at how proximate it is to the Jordan River, which is a state amenity. And I hope people will start to think Utah can have a river city. Salt Lake can be a river city. All the um, all the teams you could imagine are represented in Vegas, not just the NFL, but there are a lot of A's hats that I saw, jerseys, people interested in about the Oakland Athletics becoming something else. There was the mention of the potential for Salt Lake City maybe having a little role in a holdover pattern or something for the A's. Has there been any more dialogue about that? Yeah, I would say that is an incredibly exciting opportunity. We want to be good partners to Major League Baseball. Um, and so we've been very responsive to both the Oakland Athletics and Major League Baseball. And right now, you know, they're working through their numbers and, and their uh, issues. And hopefully we hear from them soon.